Hello, my name is Mark Burroughs, and I'm delighted to welcome you to join us on a three-week excursion into the remarkable vision of Raina Maria Rilke, a, a Prague-born poet to a German-speaking family there. Rilke became, in his own lifetime, one of the celebrated voices of early modernist literature in Europe. But in some ways, he was far ahead of his own times, and indeed, he's even ahead of ours. His vision of what life is about goes to the deep places of what he calls our heart work, the places where we yearn to find a foundation under us that can carry us with all of the energies and dynamic pressures that we feel pressing down upon us. In one of his earlier poems, he put it this way, my life, he wrote, my life is not this steep hour in which you see me hurrying. So that's a sentiment I think that all of us know about. And in ways that Rilke could never have imagined in this 24 seven culture we live in, where the sense of communication around the world is instantaneous and the pressures and obligations and responsibilities that puts upon our shoulders are immense. How do we carve out that space that Rilke called Einsamkeit, that space of solitude, that space of aloneness, where we discover how we're connected to our deepest life and how we're connected to the lives of others and how we live as part of this fragile, imperiled world. I hope you'll join us for these conversations about really what it means to be human in these times and how Rilke's vision can encourage us, inspire us, puzzle us, provoke us, and in some sense, call us forward into the deepest identity that is always waiting for us to claim. Rilke didn't have answers to questions. He had questions. And he thought that living the questions, living our deepest questions, was the most important thing we could do. We'll be exploring several of those questions together. My colleague Stephanie Dalrick and I will be engaging each other in a conversation with Rilke, with his writings, and we'll welcome you into that conversation to see how the wisdom of this remarkable poet still might inspire us to nobler lives, to wiser lives. I hope you'll join us. Thanks.